White House. And here to talk about Cuba and a number of other issues is Congressman and Majority Whip Steve Scalise. Thanks for joining us. Uh, good to be with you. You know, we know this could, could be good for business, especially the port down the road, but at what cost? And clearly you have concerns. What's the message that's being sent by President Obama? First of all, let's keep my Cuba actually detained and imprisoned an American who did nothing wrong. Mr. Gross, who was just released, uh, was held in a, in a jail in Cuba, and then they negotiated, a, in essence, a hostage release where three, uh, three Cubans who were actually convicted of spying, uh, one who actually murdered Americans, were in American prisons, and they were sent back to Cuba. Uh, that's not the kind of message you want to send, that if you just go in and hold an American hostage uh, in a prison, then we're going to negotiate with you and we'll ease sanctions. Look, we saw this with Iran, where the president eased sanctions that were working to bring Iran to the table uh, to stop them from developing nuclear weapons, and we got nothing in return. They're, they're not rolling back their nuclear program. So it's a pattern that the president uh, literally will negotiate th with these countries that, uh, that are they're really doing things that are bad, not only for America, but for our allies. Uh, and, and again, the that you send by releasing three spies who were convicted in prison because they took and held an American against his will and held him in a prison in Cuba. Let's shift gears uh, quickly to the spending bill. You pass a $1.1 trillion uh, spending bill and then you also get attacked by some conservative wings here, basically saying that you and some other party members caved on immigration and your response. Uh, nothing could be further from the truth. First of all, one of the claims they're making that's false was that that bill in some kind of way funded the president's illegal actions on immigration. There's not a dime in that bill for what the president's proposing because first of all, it's illegal what the president's saying he's going to do. Uh, he's trying to uh, give uh, permits, millions of permits to people that are here illegally. Uh, he can't do that, doesn't have the legal authority to do it. One of the provisions in that bill that passed uh, was a limitation, a freeze on the Department of Homeland Security, which is the agency that deals with immigration, and it expires their funding in February when we get a Republican Senate. Uh, so one of the first things you're going to see in January, just four weeks from now, when Congress goes back into session, is a direct fight with the President on his mm -hmm. attempt to illegally uh, give amnesty uh, to millions of people that are here illegally. And in fact, I've been working with our most conservative members, uh, including a call earlier today, uh, drafting the language to attach to that spending bill that funds the agency that deals with immigration to deny the president any ability to try to do what he's doing. Uh, but, but keep in mind, there's not a dime in that bill that passed that gives the president the authority to do it. He's going to try to do it in any way, and we're going to stop him. So that debate's going to resurrect itself the day you get back. January 6th, when the new Congress comes in, you're going to see this fight front and center. And there are going to be many other fights, by the way, with the president over what he's trying to do, not only on Obamacare, but things to hold our economy back. And let's go get our economy moving again, uh, get spending under control, and, and those confrontations are coming in the next few weeks. Congressman Steve Scalise, thanks for sharing your insight thanks. and your time with us today. Good to be with you all. Thank you. And you could call